Welcome back everybody. Hopefully everybody's out there being safe as always. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade a Clevo laptop. This Clevo is the N850EP. So you may be asking yourself, what the heck even is a Clevo? And the best way I can describe it is um, a generic bare bones laptop that is sold to manufacturers or resellers of computer devices so that they can put their own internals in and rebrand it. So you'll see some Clevos from CyberPower, you'll see some Clevos from, from Origin, you'll see some Clevos from other companies. Um, but it's it's not that you're getting a lot of like bad stuff either. A lot of these come with uh, desktop CPUs. Um, you can actually add your own desktop CPU. Uh, this particular one comes with an 8th Gen i7 in it already installed, pre-installed but it doesn't come with a RAM or a drive. So that's why we actually need to install one to this one. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so these uh, Clevos are actually made to be pretty easy to work on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just turn this one around like that. We're gonna unlock the, the, uh, the battery here so that's going to be th this way it has a little unlock symbol and then this one unlocks it again and then we just lift up like this very easy um, now we're going to take off one two three and screws from the back here these are like the little silver screws Now we're going to remove this screw here that's also under the battery technically. A long screw. And now we're going to remove all the screws that you see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 screws. Now for this particular one, I actually do have a broken, uh, three broken little areas. So these three holes don't have screws on them. Um, but I, do, I still have to take off the rest of them. Now we're going to go ahead and lift it this way and we're going to start prying from the front with our uh, spudger or pick just like that. Let's see if I can get, okay, and we'll work our way around, around the front there, let's make sure I didn't miss a screw, I think I'm fine. Go way around the other side, and once you get it loose enough, we can do the wiggle, 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 and it should pop right off. Here's the inside of it. Now turn it like if you were looking at it yourself. Uh, we have the two RAM slots here. We have a slot for a hard drive if you wanted to install a hard drive, and we have our slot for our NVMe SSD. So we're going to be installing the RAM today, and we'll be installing the NVMe. So. Let's turn this back around. Actually, I'll do it. I'll do it this way so you can see it a little bit better. And let's start with the RAM. For this system, we are just going to install two by eight um, gig sticks. So 16 total, eight and eight. Um, you go ahead and just pop the first one in like this. Make sure you match the notch with the notch or the uh, the gap with the notch, just like that. Goes in easily. Take one finger and then just go boop and it comes right out. If you have to take these back out, make sure you use the levers on the left and the right here and just pull away from them from each other like that and then it'll just pop right back up and then you just pull out. All right, so put it in easily. Use one finger, put it in. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna put it in at an angle like this. See how it sits at an angle? All right, now we're gonna push it down and it'll clip on its own. Next thing is going to be installing the NVMe. So we're gonna take this screw out Right there and for this one we are going to be installing a Samsung we're sticking with the Samsung uh, stuff here uh, one terabyte NVMe that goes in at an angle as well just like that you hear the pop you see how it sits at an angle now we're gonna hold it down with one finger take our 
screwdriver with the screw back on there. As we hold it down, we're going to screw in the screw. Just like that. Okay, for today's uh, for today, we're not going to be installing a hard drive, so um, we're not going to cover that part. But so that's it for the upgrade. Now we're going to go ahead and put it back together. Make sure that all your clips are attached. So I just kind of just put it put it evenly out like this, and then I'll go ahead around and start clipping in my clips. Easy enough, right? So now that we have all the clips on and we made sure we verified by looking all the way around the uh, system itself, we go ahead and put our screws back in. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off with the, the, out, the out ones, the ones on the outside here. All right, let's put our battery back on. All right, so that covers the hardware portion of the uh, upgrade or install. So not very hard, right? It's a, They're made to be easy to work on. That way a lot of different distributors or manufacturers actually can just work on this without having any issues. Um, so the last thing I need to do is go ahead and do a Windows 10 install on this and activate my Windows and it should be done. All right, well, I hope this video was very helpful to you guys out there. If you have this model, um, I hope it uh, showed you how to upgrade or install your own uh, um, hardware. So I don't know if you can buy these bare bones. I think they only sell them to like bigger companies, but you might be able to check these out. You might be able to find some of these with different branding like on Amazon or, or from different manufacturers. So um, anyways, if this was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you share it because it could help somebody else out there. Uh, until the next video, I'll see you. Take care.